Malaysia 2023 Series 1 is co-hosted by Bursa Malaysia and Maybank. Today begins our first series which we shall take a look at conversations surrounding the idea of reshaping Malaysia's narrative. And welcome to Invest Malaysia 2023 Series 1, Strengthening Resilience and Sustaining Growth. Allow me to kickstart the event by inviting the Chairman of Bursa Malaysia, the Honourable Tan Sri Abdul Wahid Omar, to deliver the welcome remarks. The business world is familiar with the old saying that good ideas are plentiful, but execution is the key to success. And those of us involved in corporate transformation efforts know this to be true. Successful organisations are shaped through strong, value-based narratives. They build a desirable position and attract direct talents and partnerships. It gives me great pleasure to now welcome on stage Maybank's Group President and CEO, Dato Karusalis Ramli, to deliver his opening remarks. We believe that financial services can catalyze that inclusive growth and ensure prosperity. We also believe that conscious capital can be mobilized towards activities that contribute to sustainable development, greater financial inclusivity, and other socially responsible initiatives. Bursa Carbon Exchange, or BCX, is a vital catalyst in the acceleration towards a net zero future. Notably, it is the first exchange in the world to receive a Sharia pronouncement for its carbon exchange. Congratulations. It is a natural fit for further development and support through Islamic finance, a field where Malaysia has long been recognized as a global leader. We will be able to deliver and stick to that 400 billion worth of development expenditure all the way to 2025. I'm quite confident that we will be able to, to stick with that. The target of growth in terms of FDI or investments, total both FDI and DDI, we are projecting or targeting a 20% growth compared to what we have achieved in 2022. In terms of making PTP uh, more competitive, of course, I know PTP is, uh, have a lot of uh, their own initiative as well to make their port uh, more productive, to make their turnaround time faster, to make it more viable. So I think the same spirit should be applied in terms of competition with TWAS. But that does not stop us from competing uh, with TWAS. I think that we should have a bit more confidence in terms of our ability to compete. In any case, when we re-look at how we want to manage subsidies, it needs to be done in a holistic manner, but beyond that, it needs to be sequenced accordingly and implemented gradually. In terms of other taxes, you know, it's certainly not in the current minds. You said there are many options, luxury tax and capital gains tax. We'll focus on that for now. We're not looking at any other taxes at the moment. I think going forward, Spectrum is also a national asset. It's something which the government, MCMC, views. We look at it as a very precious asset. It's something which we will part with very dearly, but it's also something with which we can utilize in order to derive revenue. So I've instructed uh, MCMC to work together with the MNOs by June of this year. I want this back to Thank you to everyone who has made this a truly enjoyable event. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and goodbye, drive safe.